the starting group for the visitors. Outside Williams, wide open. Yep, it counts. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. And that's the story of the league right now. Most any team can beat any other team on any given night. Now here's Anthony outside Griffin. This one for three. Here's Robertson. Outside Anthony. The second chance effort. And there's Robertson. That's good on the assist by Anthony. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Here's Gilchrist. Fires for three. And the three ball is good. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Anthony. Robertson kicks to Griffin. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Boy, not a bad beginning. Three for four from the floor. Pretty good start. Griffin's gone one and two from three-point land. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Outside Rose. Pass to Gilchrist. Shot clock at five. And here is Williams. And it's good. The time running down on the shot clock. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Here's Robertson. No good off the back of the rim. Oh from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. Pass to Williams. And a missed layup. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Robertson drives in. And he banks in the layup. Robertson's got his second bucket of the night. Right. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, Greg, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. The feed to Williams. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Gotta show more muscle to keep him off that low block. Well, it's a couple of things here, I think, Greg. Certainly the effort, the willingness to fight, and the willingness to push him off of his comfort zone. The three bangs home the trifecta. He's got six. And team strategies closely guarded one aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to it's tough to hide your communications teams go to great lengths to try to do it but sometimes to no avail so it's the visitors now it's a three-point game and it's in there and their post play has been really solid right off the bat a minute 42 left to play in the first quarter. It's stolen by Anthony. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. Passes it to Chapman. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Here's Anthony. Six points for him. He gets it in there. One oh two left in the first. 
Anthony's gone 80% from the field. Four of five shooting. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the first. Chapman the pass to Craig. Just five on the clock. To the middle. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Here's the pass to Shaw. Let's go. Can't nail the jump. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Chapman. Lock at six. And he comes up with the deuce. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Cuts off the pass. Knocked away. It's stolen by Wilcox. With one on the clock. Can't do it much better than that right before the clock expires. What a... And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. The home team leading by just one. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. We've got Farrell, and it's Chapman in at the three slot. Pass to Farrell. Finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Knocks it loose. Puts it up from 12. Good on the shot. Here is Wilcox. Count it good. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That one misses for Wilcox. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Drops in the tray off the fast break. Wilcox has got seven points in the game. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Pass to Craig. The putback, great positioning on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Here's Wilcox. That's in, coming off the assist from Robertson. Wilcox has got seven points here in this quarter. Here's Craig. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Passes it to Rose. They get the rebound. Can change shot. And the layup is good. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Takes the three. 
A nice shot by Griffin. He's got six. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Rose hits the bucket. Rose has got his second bucket of the night. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Griffin's shot is off. Here's Gilchrist, covered by Anthony. Here's Robertson. An easy two points on the layup. Robertson's got six points. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. To the inside. And it's Williams finishing it off. Ooh, rising and punching it on the young fella. You know he loves having that much of a height advantage. Best chance to get himself on the highlight reel. Here's Anthony. And the layup's good off the glass. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. 143 left to play in the first half. Here's Rose. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Griffin with the steal. Here's Wilcox. That's in coming off the assist from Robertson. In such a rhythm right now. Feathery touch. He's lighting them up. Here's Gilchrist. Defended by Griffin. Now the pass to Craig. Hits it from three-point range. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Here's Wilcox. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. The first free throw is good. One is no good. Well, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. You talked about a back and forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Christie, the pass to Anthony. The baseline J. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. A, a quick good shot here, and they can go two for one. Well, you want to... Wow, that was a strong dunk. That is nice. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Down low. And that one is hammered home. And, and he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Here's Craig. Left side, Williams. Two on the clock. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the first one drops. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We hope you're enjoying this round two conference. Checking out the visiting team. They hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far 
is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bet. They gave them a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored baskets. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Aggressive. I called them up earlier. I like it. They're taking the hearts to the rack, dictating the pace, setting the physical tone. You're not going to get that by launching threes all night. Everybody knows that. <laughs> And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. Here's Griffin. No good on the quick three. Griffin's gone two for five tonight. Four on three break. The 17-footer. Count that one. He's got eight. He's covered by Rhodes. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Shot from the top of the key. And it's Griffin with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume that he's going to knock those down when he is that open. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Defended by Griffin. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And he knocks down the first one. Good on both. Here's Anthony. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Here's Gilchrist. Kicks it to Williams. Sinks that one from the post. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Williams has gone four of five shooting from the field. Robertson with it. He's got six. Outside Anthony. And there's Robertson. That's good on the assist by Anthony. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Defended by Griffin. Here's Gilchrist. Right side Williams. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Well, good vision from the inside and kicking it to the perimeter. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. And here's Anthony for three. Gets number nine to fall. He's only taken ten shots. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Griffin on the double team. Williams with a clean look. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Williams has got 12. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Count that one. And, and they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks for mid-range. Pass to Gilchrist. Defended by Griffin. Here's Rose. It's blocked. And he recovers it. And there's the bucket. Still with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Inside. And it's Anthony with the jam. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Clock 
keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Pass to Craig. <laughs> to the paint, and that one is stuffed right through. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Mendez, defended by Christie. Makes it off the glass. He's got eight. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Robertson. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. It, it goes down, but with no defender near him, no need to go to the fadeaway. Picked his pocket. And they're pushing it up. A finish. Oh! And he takes that one up and powers it through. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Pass to Mendes. Here's Farrell, defended by Christie. Three seconds left. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Thirty-two seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Karuch, and off target as he starts the game 0 for one. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. The pass to Farrell. Anthony with the block. One on one here. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. It'd be nice if everybody took as much pride in his rebounding as he does. You know what? I, Rick, he loves that part of the game. And it shows. Well, but his defenders keep forgetting to box him out. He continues to just make them pay. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. The away team leading by four. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinal. We've got Farrell, and it's Chapman in at the three. Bucket is good. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Craig. Poked loose. Here we go, all alone. And the basket by Shaw. Shaw has got his first points of the night. And this is what you love about the game. Superb defense, great steal, and just like that, we add two points to this narrow lead. Stepped in the line, out of bounds there, and that will cost him the possession. And turnovers have been the issue for him. You can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Here's Karuch, and that one, good. And you can feel the excitement 
in the building. Both of these teams pouring it on. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Here's Griffin, drills the three-pointer. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. And I think they count on him for that, Greg. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Here's Shaw. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. They're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. I think it's be a mistake to let the shot clock in under 10 seconds from here on out. Pass to Williams. Another shot. The layup off target. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. At the elbow, it's Rhodes. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Great chemistry between two teammates. Love the passing. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm and you can see how they're finishing their plays well what great game planning what great execution it doesn't get much better than this inside and finished off by Rhodes and guys he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight never has been never will be he is a determined finisher big miscommunication on defense he recognizes it and quickly takes advantage and that's typical of this guy he's always reading the situation reacting quickly and capitalizing can he keep it going he can't get it to go listen that's a shot he can make but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it it to Shaw. Takes a three. Rebound by Williams. Down by 12. To the middle. Uses the glass to finish the lane. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under. And with his game closing in on the final buzzer, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Now with the conference final within reach he was not gonna let it slip away he gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew Hall of Famer David Aldrin hey guys well during the break I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team he said I want us to play as though we're behind we're good when we play with urgency we're bad when we become complacent don't become complacent let's go guys Tonight, they've done that and then some. Covered by Anthony. The pass to House. Forty seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Just five to shoot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Clearly a foul. That one is off. Number three. And he's good on the second. Boy, he'd sure like to have that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. Well, they knew it would be a hostile environment, and they rose to the challenge. And sometimes, Greg, when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. 
Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Pass to Farrell. Hanked in off the glass. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here's Robertson outside. Rebound by House. And the first one at the line is good. He makes one of two that time. Here's Shaw. Missed. That's it. They've won the series. And you got to feel good about getting each and every game here in the postseason. You know, Kevin, each game is, is just so significant and, and magnified. This has got to feel really good. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference Playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan.